Welcome to the Blueberry Railroad in Geneva, Ohio, as trainiacs from far and wide come together for the first ever Berkshire reunion. Sit back, relax, and join us as we showcase some of the activities from this amazing event. The Berkshire reunion, an event that was held from September 30th through October the 2nd of 2021 at the Blueberry Railroad in Geneva, Ohio. It began as a casual idea back in June of 2021. Jim Kreider, well-known designer, manufacturer, and builder of 1 8 scale live steam Berkshires, among other locomotives, had reached out to express an interest in visiting Northeast Ohio. All this while on a trip from Southern California for the Nickel Plate Historical Society's convention, which was held down in Cincinnati. This gathering brought together live steam enthusiasts from all over. As we can see here, there are numerous trains departing Blueberry Station. Soon, we'll see here on the right in this video, Gene Lurig of Northern Georgia, who built this magnificent nickel plate Berkshire, cab number 757, a museum quality locomotive for sure. Gene made the visit as part of a trip where he would also be displaying his locomotive at the Nickel Plate Mad River Museum in Bellevue, Ohio the following day. Also with us was Brian Keim of Wooster, Ohio and his gorgeous Erie Lackawanna Pacific number 2936, which is effortless in pulling an 11 car passenger train. Let me tell you, it runs as good as it looks. It was also great to see Wayne Godshaw along with a Berkshire as he pulls a lovely Lehigh Valley passenger train. Even though this is the Berkshire reunion, here we have Joe Groff and his New York Central Hudson, cab number 5204. Hello, lovely ladies. Let's have a look as Gene, Brian, and others take to the main line. Now, Brian Keim and Erie Lackawanna, cab number 2936, they head towards the main. Check out this gorgeous passenger train. Brian's done extensive work on his locomotive, which enables it to pull a long consist and he does it so easily. Brian is also involved with Keim Steam Pump, a manufacturer of high quality operating live steam pumps, as well as numerous other items for the hobby. Here we have Paul Lynch, a member of the Lakeshore Live Steamers Club that's located in Kirtland, Ohio, about a half hour west of the Blueberry Railroad. Paul here is at the throttle of a nickel plate Hudson, cab number 170. The Blueberry Railroad is situated between the full size main lines of the CSX and Norfolk Southern Railroads on 90 plus acres of land. If you're wondering, yes, this is also a blueberry farm and they specialize in the world's only smoked blueberries. All this is made possible by the soot of these 1 8 scale iron horses. Construction of the railroad began in 2008. The current track plan has a main line that's just a little over two miles long, as well as a branch line that's another mile in length. There are plans for future main and branch line expansion. All told, a full circuit covering both the main and branch will take just over 30 minutes to complete. The branch line is located in the woods and incorporates an automated signal system for bi-directional operation. There are a couple of 3% grades which offer a nice challenge for any engineer to negotiate. At the end of the branch line is a long trestle bridge which enhances the return loop. Going forward, plans are in the works for a full service roundhouse, expanded steaming bays, and a number of other additions. As you can see in this overhead shot, Gene is about to cross the truss bridge 
where the Golden Spike is located for the railroad. If you like to highball, and who doesn't in this hobby, the Blueberry Railroad is for you. The main lines have long stretches where you can crank the throttle, shove in some coal, and let her rip. How about we run with the Burks? Oh, okay. At least a few Burks and a couple of Pacifics. From the left, Frank Fody with nickel plate Burke number 765. Brian's lovely Pacific, Erie Lackawanna number 2936. Mitch Lane with East Lake Beltline Pacific number 6372. And Matt Karn with nickel plate Burke number 779. Here we have all four locomotives as they are approaching Blueberry Station, which is at the heart of the railroad. On the left, we can see where Frank and Nickel Plate 765 will actually pass through the station, while the other three trains make their way past the station. So wonderful to see so much soot and cinders fill the air on a lovely day here in Geneva, Ohio. Nothing like having four steam engines mugging for a camera. The life of the party. All four locomotives here, as you can see, with their slaves sitting there, tending to their fires and raising steam. Looks like we'll be having some additional fun, even in reverse, as Brian, Kime, and Mitch set up the stage a tracking shot. Here's a really cool perspective as Brian and Mitch roll side by side in front of Blueberry Station. Let's enjoy as they head towards the main line. We'll just let the camera roll here and you can enjoy the sight and sounds of these two magnificent Pacific locomotives.
As the two trains pass through White Pine Junction, they connect again as they head north towards Roberta's Loop and then the entrance to the branch line. Here we find Mitch sitting on the branch line, which has self-operating signals. He's awaiting Brian to clear the signal on his return towards the main line. Here you can get a great perspective of Brian's passenger train. Night running for a live steamer, possibly one of the most challenging yet fun experiences. Everything takes on an added dimension when running at night. In this sequence, we find Mitch passing through Blueberry Yard. Notice the signals as they automatically trigger, letting Mitch know it's A-OK -okay to proceed. Listen as Mitch's Pacific works its way up the 3% grade. Once again, we find Brian as he now awaits Mitch to clear this section of the railroad. Finally, arrival back at Blueberry Station as another day comes to a close for the Berkshire reunion. Thank you for joining us.